Hello, welcome and today we're going to take a look on direct material price and usage variances. These are two simple variances are on materials. Actually materials form one part uh, of a product uh, along others, other elements like uh, labor cost and overheads. Variances of these will be analyzed also later. So what is material cost? Material cost is material price times quantity of materials used. Actually it could be used, could be materials purchased, anything, just the quantity, price times quantity. So when analyzing variances, we'll look at variances due to changes in price as well as variances due to changes in quantity. Variances due to changes in price, we call them material price variances. And those due to changes in quantity, we call them material usage variances. So the variances definitions will actually be explained on the fly when actually explain the two questions. So just see it yourself. If actual results are poor compared to budget results, the variances are adverse. Meaning of actual results being poor cost wise, that means if we incur much higher cost than the budget or the expected cost. But if actual results are better, that means having lower cost than the budget, the variances will be favorable. Question. Product P has a standard direct material cost as follows. 10 kilograms of material M at $100 per kilogram. This is the standard cost. 10 kilograms of material costing $100 per kilogram. During the period, 1,000 units of P were manufactured using 11,000 kilograms of material M, which cost 1.15 million. Then calculate direct material price variance direct material usage variance as well as the direct material total variance. How do you go about this? Now there is a very simple performer to go about this and you can use this for all other variances. A very simple one. Welcome to variance. So we said that the difference could be attributed uh, by quantity but also as price. So we have our actual quantity from the question 11,000 kilograms. So we have actual first time, actual for the second time, we'll see this how, and then we'll have the standard quantity for actual output. What is the standard quantity for actual output? Standard quantity for actual output means that the quantity, the actual quantity, the true quantity of material that should have been incurred, that should have been used if the actual output expected, the actual output we actually obtained is what we had expected. So, how do you obtain the standard quantity for actual output? You just take standard quantity times actual output at the question, at the term suggests itself. Standard quantity times actual output. How do you get this 10,000 now? Let's go and see how to obtain it. Now, back to the question, we can see that we are told that we need 10 kilograms for material M to make one product, but we actually made Actually, a thousand units. So, ten times a thousand, we get we get ten thousand. We also given the actual cost of materials here as one point one five million, as well as actual quantity of materials used eleven thousand kilograms. So, we go to our question and see what we have to do. So, when we go to the price section. We have actual price, no need actually because you already have the total actual cost, so you don't have to compute it. But the standard price we are given is 100 and we repeat it is 100 here. So we multiply to get the cost because cost equals to quantity times price. So multiplying the figures, we have one here this figure we had it, in the other ones you'll have 1.1 million and here 1 million exactly. So we now determine our material price variance and material usage variance. As we said earlier, material price variance is a variance due to the difference between price, actual, and standard here. Note that the actual here quantity and here actual quantity, so no difference due to quantity. It's just due to price. So because this figure is greater than this one, it implies that actual price was much higher than the standard price. So by that, we can well confirm that this price variance will be adverse because we incurred much higher costs than what we expected to incur. And we'll have uh, 50,000 adverse, adverse because uh, we incurred much higher costs in price, in buying materials. Then material usage variance, 
we compare these two figures, actual quantity as well as standard quantity for actual output. We expected to use just 10,000 but we ended up using 11,000. So use much more, 1,000 more. So you take 1,000 multiply by 100 and we have this figure here. $100,000 out of this also because we use much more materials. And if you add them, we obtain a material total variance, that is material price variance plus material usage variance. So 50,000 adverse plus 100,000 adverse, and we, we get a total of 150,000 adverse. This is just how we computed the standard quantity for actual output. Standard quantity times actual output. Standard quantity is 10 kilograms per unit, multiplied by 1,000 units of production. And then... Let's see the difference a bit here. You have material purchased as well as used, materials used. It could happen that you use materials less than what you purchased. And so material price variance is based on quantity of materials purchased, while the usage variance is based on quantity of materials used. So when you use less than what we buy, some materials purchased will not be used. So be careful in case different figures are presented to you. Reason for material price variance is now. Why the difference in prices? This could be due to different reasons. For example, price changes. Actual or standard. If actual price rises much more than what, what uh, was originally the price, this will lead to an adverse material price variance. But also standard-wise, the standard could go up or down. If the standard goes up, this will make uh, the standard price greater than actual and this will be favorable to us. Price negotiations. The better we negotiate, the lower the actual cost and the more favorable the material price variance. There could also be discount issues there and uh, others. Let's see reasons for material usage variances. Why the difference between material why the difference between the usage of materials, what I actually use and what I expected to use. For example, effective materials. If you have defective materials, this means that you will use much more than what you expected. Theft, the same. Theft will lead to a much higher amount of materials being used than quality of materials. If you use materials of poor quality, you will use much more materials and this could lead to an adverse material usage variance. But you use a better quality of materials than what the, the standard expected the materials of variance could be favorable. Then skills of use. Now this variance skills of use here actually is connected to labor. Actually, if you have labor which is much more experienced and can make better use of materials, the variance could be favorable because it could use much less amount of materials compared to unskilled labor. So this is all about what is about all about material price variances uh, in the usage variances. And then until next time, subscribe for more videos.